Yeah, Wendy, new tonight, we're learning more about what was going on inside this home that would literally give some people nightmares. We're talking about thousands of knives, tons of these creepy props, including this fake severed finger in the driveway. A lot more inside, all belonging to a mentally disturbed woman. Well, we've been scared to death. If you put yourself in Dorothy Clagg's shoes, you can understand her fear. Just look at what deputies pulled out of the home next door. More than 3,700 knives, swords, machetes, and axes. Many of them hanging around or in creepy Halloween-type props. She never wanted anybody to go in her house, and now I know why. Deputies made the discovery Tuesday night when serving an arrest warrant. They say Nicole Dykma, who suffers from a mental illness, eventually lunged at an officer with a machete, missing his head by just inches. It's a miraculous uh, thing. It's by the grace of God that they, everybody went home safe last night. So the detectives just pulled out, and obviously the woman is still in jail. So for the first time, we're getting an up-close look at this house. And take a look, the entrance area covered in filth, and a lot of these Halloween decorations, props, severed limbs, and heads. But where it gets really creepy is looking inside the house. Look inside this bedroom. It literally looks like a haunted house. More fake skeletons and severed limbs. Pictures from before the knives were removed make it look even creepier. In case you were wondering, this is what 3,700 knives look like hanging inside a home. She is just something else. You never knew. Dykema's other neighbor, Ethel Burns, says the woman never got violent but was destructive. Their security cameras caught her destroying their window and air conditioning unit using, of all things, a knife. No one knew she had so many. But my husband was amazed. He said if he had known that she had that kind of arsenal in her house, we wouldn't have stayed here. We'd have, we'd have left. Now, tonight I asked the deputy if these weapons were legal, and he said yes. In fact, you can buy them at a flea market. The only problem is this woman was on probation. She wasn't allowed to own one of them, let alone 3,700. Live in Brooksville tonight, Ryan Ray, ABC Action News.